Computers operate in the digital world, but not humans. So how do we digitize information from books, photos, or even music from the analog world into the digital world? Now there are many ways to do this, but here's a quick overview. First, let's start with books that are made of pages or words, and each word is made of letters from the alphabet. To change a book from a printed page into a digital version, all you need to do is assign a unique value, or digits, to each letter in the alphabet, and then convert each letter in each word in each page of the book into digits that represent that letter. Hence turning a book into a long stream of digits, and voila, you've just digitized the book. Photos are a bit different. So photos are made up of colors, and in the visual world we assign a number for each color. Then we take a photo, create a grid around it, and transform each square of the grid into a single color. Then since each color has been given a unique value, it's quite easy to see how we can digitize a photo. Now sure you lose information here as some squares have two or three colors in them, but in nearly every analog to digital conversion, you're going to lose information. To minimize the loss of data, you need to increase the resolution, or in this case, increase the number of squares on the grid. Finally, there's music. Now music is a bit more tricky. In order for digital equipment to record music, it first must convert the music into electricity, and that's what mics and recorders and electric guitar pickups do. They convert the air vibrations that our ears would perceive as sound into electrical signals. These electrical signals are usually passed onto the speaker to convert back into air vibrations and back into sound, but in computers, we can record the electrical signal as a value or voltage. So in the case of digital music, we take samples of the electrical signal, record their digital values in voltages, and then store those values as digits on a computer. Now the sound card in your computer can then convert those digits back into electrical signals that then can be forwarded to speakers to convert back into sound. Now once you've converted everything into digital information, it can be copied over and over and over again without any loss of information. And more importantly, it can be transferred all over the world thanks to the wonders of the internet.